a beautiful day. Where are you off to? Oh, I'm gonna just head up the freeway and see where life takes me. <laughs> you wanna come? <laughs> All right, I'm headed to my mom. I thought house. you're going crazy. You're gonna ask me if you want to come. <laughs> going crazy. Want to come? Heritage Lake. We got a little breeze going today. It's cold. Yeah. What's it say? It is fifty-five. Outside? Fifty-five. That's freezing, basically. We need summer back. Yes, I agree with that. Beautiful mountains. We're just coming up on March Air Force Base on the 215 freeway is where we are. The 215 comes up into Moreno Valley and then we turn and go west on the 60? Yep. Yeah. First up, depending on how much I need we do. Change. They already went in? No, they should in the car get the coupons out. What do they do? I'm hungry. Waiting on the folks? Yeah. Well, yes, you have no food for 16 hours. You I should be hungry. I'm hungry, but now I am. Could you pop the trunk, Mom? Here they come. We're at the Costco and Rancho Cucamonga, and there's not a single parking spot to Everyone be found. Else is here too. What do we have to get at Costco? Turbo tax. <laughs> is it time for us to do taxes again? Yes, much more carefully right this time. Maybe I'll do them right. Please. I just don't like to fill out line by line by line. You have to. Every day trade. They require it. You must Look at that do it. Citizen putting your card away. I think Merrill Lynch should do my taxes. I don't think they agree with that. They will, for a price. True. A lot of people will do them for you if you don't mind paying them. My mom will do them for you if you want to pay her, but she no, charges a lot. Do yours. <laughs> she doesn't want to know. Mine are stressful enough and I don't have all the stuff you do. I was going to offer you $10,000. Oh, for $10,000 I might probably get more letters from the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't be held responsible. <laughs> Look at all that snow on Mount Baldy. All right, so we're purchasing TurboTax. We have to go up front and get the right one, but are you sure I can trust you to do this and do it right? <laughs> all right, let's go. Honey, don't come too close. You're gonna set these off. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> Professional stud finder. <laughs> Lisa's really mad at herself right now. She's gonna knock the camera out of my hand. <laughs> Lisa's mad at herself because she locked my keys inside the trunk of my car. I was getting my jacket. <laughs> and I set the keys down while I put my jacket on. And then shut the trunk. And then shut the trunk. <laughs> well, how come you didn't have the car unlocked? Stupid car. It's not as stupid as ours. Or you you would think it would sense. Get inside the... That the key is sitting inside. Right, I better not lock I'll myself lock up. Ours will lock it with the key in the trunk. It will not lock it with the key in the car. Oh. Uh, inside. If my purse is in the car... It the knows that the key's there. It let you lock the door. But in the trunk it will. I bought a cheap car. It doesn't know. Okay, everybody. So we have finally made it home let me tell you what happened as you know I locked my keys in the trunk we had to call our insurance they sent out roadside assistance they let us into the car but when they popped the lock it set the alarm off when the alarm went off it locked down everything in the car except of course the seats so the automatic seats still moved so if you ever break into our car you can adjust the seat to your comfort and at least get in a comfortable position but you cannot pop the trunk once the alarm is going off it shuts down everything else inside the car 
So we were not able to get in the trunk. So my parents ended up having to drive us from their house all the way out to our house, which took an hour to get the keys. We got some dinner. We drove another hour back to their house. We got in our car. We drove another hour back to our house. So it was a three hour trip of driving. And now we have finally made it back home. We're exhausted, but we at least got our keys out of the trunk and have made it home now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let that be a lesson. Don't ever set your keys down inside the trunk because it's impossible to get them out. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.